Coming up on Revival is here again. As long as you think you are in need, you're going to remain in need. As long as you want to be pitied, you'll be in the pit. But it doesn't matter where you are. You could be a driver, mechanic, a janitor. What you have something you can give to somebody else. Start from there. Something. Hello friend, this is Revival is here again. I'm sure you're getting ready to come into oof, something really, really exciting and great. These messages were trapped from live services in our church family, Revival House of Glory International Church. And I'm sure that God is about to really push you to levels untold as we capture uh, the great grace, the anointing where we this message were preached. Get ready. Revival is here again. This is Goodheart Obiakum, the host of Rehab. Welcome to Revival is Here Again with Good Heart. God is about to speak directly to you as this message is guaranteed to impact your life. As you listen today, expect that God's word has been sent in your direction to bring about revival, healing, restoration, and transformation. With faith in your heart and great expectation, join me to receive God's word through his choice vessel, Good Heart Obi Equime. Whenever God finds unity in the body of Christ, he simply rushes in. Kotaya. He is drawn to a place of harmony, a place of unity, a place of accord, a place of agreement. So he says, where two or three are gathered in my name, not in your tribe, in your culture, in your tongue, in your degree or lack of it or pedigree, you're simply gathered in my name. You don't care whether you're male, female, tall, short, black or white. You're simply gathered in my name. There am I in their midst. And God cannot be in your midst and leave you the same way as you are when he showed up in your midst. Where two or three are gathered together. The key word is together. Unity. It's the prayer of Jesus. Yet today in the body of Christ, we're still bickering and still fighting over doctrine, over dogma over all kinds of things and culture. But Jesus said, hey, you are one. The person who is responsible for this division is the devil because he knows as long as you are splintered and scattered, I can come and rush in. Do you see it now? As long as there is bickering, there's uh, division here, service team here, uh, uh, I'm for this, I'm for this, that's my, no. The, it, it, we make it difficult for the Holy Ghost to come to Russia. But if we are in accord together, oh, wow, we are set for the move of the Holy Ghost. And I believe in this second month, number two is a number of agreement. Once the Lord spoke, twice have I heard that power belongs to the Lord. How can two walk together except they be agreed? It must be three. May we in this season come into agreement with the love of God and in agreement with each other that we are in this together. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So we begin to go out of ourselves to love each other. Ah, sacrificially. When you're walking into church, you're looking around. Who next to bless? <laughs> Who next to reach out with a word of encouragement? Who next to pray with? Who next to strengthen? Who next to change somebody's shoes or somebody's blouse or somebody's house or somebody's car, somebody's hat? Oh, yeah. The time is coming. Oh, yeah. That you and I will be so empowered that you see somebody in church who you know loves God, is so committed to God, yet still is in need in this area, that area. And before you know it, as they get home, they find a vehicle parked in their house, not knowing who he came from, where he came from, because you know the Lord will have you release that. Katopa, somebody said, We're in this together. Oh yeah, once your heart is set to do it, God will give you the means. As I say, if God can bring it through you, God will bring it to you. If your heart is open to pour out to others, guess what? Your hand is going to receive it. I pray that there are those who are already sowers. Sowers by way of heart. Then God will give you the seed. Hello somebody. 
I learned something some years ago to, to, to try to have what, what the preacher, I don't know who shared that with me, but it's called do good seed. You know what I'm saying? Called do good seed. Yeah, that, that means you try to have things around you so wherever you go, uh, you have stuff to just, you know, to bless people. It's called uh, do good seed. Uh, somewhere in my vehicle right now, don't go there, please, but somewhere there, you're going to find an envelope somewhere there and there's something there. Yeah, don't go there, don't go there. It's my do good seed. Katopalabasina. I'm not used to carrying cash. That's the honest truth. So what I do, in order not to carry cash, I leave something somewhere there. Pray, you know why? Uh, so when I go to play tennis, do good seed. The security man, do good seed. The boy who played me, do, hey, do good seed. What? You remind them of Jesus. Tell them, this is Jesus Santa Claus blessing you, not because I like you. No, I do this on behalf of my master. Guess what? They will ask you, who is your master? Jesus. That's why people of other religion, they are employing the do-good seed. Go to eastern Nigeria. Katopa. It's a shame and a disgrace that my brothers are converting over rubbish for free education, for money to do business. Why? But you see, they are in need and somebody offers them money for business at zero interest, come to school, don't pay fees. Of course, they jump at it. They don't have your kind of faith, but the church to rise up with an agenda with do good seeds. Hospital built with minimal payment. Schools built with minimal fees. What is that? Do good seed. How do you think the missionaries came to Nigeria? They came with schools, they came with hospitals, and we surrendered with the good news. Do good seed. Do good seed. You can't touch somebody's heart and they'll not want to know who your God is. Somebody once said, people want to know that you care for them and, and they care for what you know. Show me you care for me, then I want to know what you know. Roger, don't have this victim mentality that all I'm sharing with you is about Pastor Bimbo giving you, Pastor Tony giving you, Pastor Rap. No, no, no. It's about you giving somebody else. That's a problem. Just this victim mentality. Everybody, or not everybody, some people think I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the beggarly side of life. You see, as long as you think you are in need, you're going to remain in need. As long as you want to be pitied, you'll be in the pit. But, Kabaloka. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be a driver, mechanic, a janitor. What you have something you can give to somebody else. Start from there. Something. If you don't start from where you are, you remain where you are. Can the love revolution begin in this house? That will birth a massive revival among us. That will lead to a breakout of revival in the city of Abuja. Oh, how I desire, how I pray that the time will come. There will be nobody in this place, in this house, who needs food and lacks food. Hey! It's possible. It's possible. How I pray, how I desire that there is nobody who loves Jesus, who does not have what to wear that is decent. How I pray that the time will come that there's nobody who is qualified for a job, skilled for a job, that will be without a job. What? We are in this together. How I pray that there's no hardworking believer who, who, who has labored and worked, who has no decent means of transportation, a place of shelter. How I pray. You know what? We are in this together. If you rise up to drop yours at the altar as they did then, they brought all to the feet of the apostles. It may not be physically like that, but in a sense it is so. When you give, when you give, and when you give, guess what? What you're giving will be used to cover somebody else until there's nobody in need. Can the love revolution begin? Let me tell you something. I'm out of time, but I'll tell you something. If you love what Jesus loves, you will touch his heart. Yes, he doesn't love cars and houses. He doesn't love buildings. No. He loves souls. He loves the church. In Acts 9, Jesus spoke 
to apostle Saul before he was converted. He was still Saul then, of course, by Damascus. And said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Acts 9. Why do you persecute me? Me, me. How, how can you persecute Jesus Christ? Paul, Saul. But I was saying, if you persecute my bride, my church, you have what? Persecuted me. If you touch my wife, you've touched me. Praise God. So you cannot kick against the pricks and not be hurt. That means I won't let you touch my bride and I will not come for you. I'm going to really show you Saul. If I told Saul that, you know, Saul, Saul, for just this, I am going to show you what you're going to suffer for my name's sake. For trying to touch my bride. You go, you go, you go pay. You go waka, you go pay. For touching my bride. By extension, if you love Jesus, you can't but love his bride. Oh boy, help me Lord. He wants you to express your love for him by loving his church. Wow. So he says in 1 John, how can you say you love God whom you don't see, have never seen, and you don't love your brother that is hungry, not clothed, right next to you in church? He said, no, that's all right. You can't. You, you show love for me by showing love to the person right there in church. The Bible says in, I have so much scriptures, Galatians 6 verse 10. Am I correct? We are on 9 or 10. We are to do good to all men. Stop there. Especially. Uh -huh. What? Especially unto them who are in Rogic, who are in the body of Christ. Charity begins from home. Not your village, home. Home. Your home is your local assembly, the body of Christ. Then that's second home. You know what? They say blood is thicker than water. Correct? I agree. But spirit is thicker than blood. Waiting, John, me and you, passing John, my, my brothers and sisters. That's the truth. Waiting, John, me and you as brethren, this blood covenant is thicker than any cousin, auntie, mother, father who don't know Jesus Christ. No, it's thicker. This one is enduring. That one may not endure. There is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. What friend? It's covenant word. So we're in this together. Rogic. So when you walk into church, come with a do good seed. And don't, 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 don't make it obvious and brag about it. Goodly, just send something through somebody. Say, don't tell who it is. Can I tell you, in this house, there are people who have received cars and they don't know who it came from. I love that. It's okay to tell, it's all right. But I'm just saying, you know, you know, there's a way you will give something that is not dignified. What do I mean by that? You rub it in that I am... You're the lesser and the one on top. I come, come here. Yeah, 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 yes. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. just make a choice. No, 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 no. You, you dignify your brother and your sister. They say when you give is honorable. You cover, you cover the back of your, your brother and sister. It's not your one rich man give to these poor, these poor guys. No, that's, that is a, that is not benevolent. It's what, is, is it Sadaka? Whatever it is, not, it's not, not, not what we say here. You know, when you give to a brother and sister, you feel an honor. It's honorable to serve one whom Jesus died for like you. That's why Jesus said to Simon Peter in John 21, do you love me? Feed my sheep. Do you love me? Tend my sheep. Do you love me? Paul said, oh God, you know now. But the point is, if you love Jesus, you will take care of his church. Rise on your feet. One minute, make a commitment. We are in this together. Quickly, as a church. 
Can we pray that prayer? Father, bind our hearts with cords that cannot be broken. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Please, let's pray. This is so dear to my heart. It's key to revival, key to glory, key to wonders. But the middle walls of partition be broken. Can we repent in ways we've been insensitive to one another? I repent. I repent. Father, help me. Help me to increase this culture of do good seed. Be deliberate and intentional to be a blessing. Oh, yes. Somebody pray. Father, break the walls that divide us. Are they gender, classes, masses, tongues, tribe? Ah. Oh, Makadosa. Help us not to see each other through human eyes anymore, but through your eyes of love. The one you died for is precious. Whether they're momentarily in lack or need now, they're precious. They're valuable by the sheep of your pasture. Help us to value one another as you value us. Please pray. This is a birthing place of revival. Yes. Yes. This will close the back door when people truly feel loved in your church family. Warmth of love. Father, let the love revolution begin in this house. Love attack where we go out of our way to love each other, to pray for each other, to share with each other that which you've given us. Lord, we thank you. Eyes closed, head bowed in this beautiful sanctuary and those who are across the nation, not born again. Say, man of God, pray with me. I want to turn my heart to Jesus. I want to embrace his love that is unfathomable. Wherever you are, just lift your right hand wherever you are. I want to pray with you in this hall. Right hand up, right hand up in this auditorium. Those who are across the nations, right hand up. I want to pray with you. Right hand up, left on your chest. Right hand up. As that hand is up, keep it up until an usher gets to you. Right hand up, right hand up, right hand up quickly until an usher gets to you. Saying, pray with me. I want to really walk in this love, this degree of love. Yes, yes, yes. Ushers, look around. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. Let's join our heart and faith. And for those who are in the nations, I see a hand there, I think. Or just lift the hand. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you just as I am. I open the door of my heart as I invite you, Jesus, to be my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me in every way I've sinned against you. I embrace you as my Lord and my Savior. I declare and declare, Jesus Christ is both my Lord and Savior. I'm blood washed, blood bought, child of the living God in me. Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Father Lord, we lift our hearts by way of our sign of surrender to you. Acknowledging you to be the doer of every good thing in our lives. Naked we came to this world and naked we depart. We thank you for the honor to be trustees and treasurers of all the many blessings, spiritual, material, mental, physical, psychological, marital. We release them now to you, O oh God, as instruments of service to you and to our brothers and our sisters. Lord, we receive grace to look out for one another under this love revolution that we believe will birth a revival. We give you praise and glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar is a worldwide and interdenominational prayer network. Jesus asked his disciples to tarry for one hour with him, and he has made that call again today. This is a call to people everywhere to congregate in a world without barriers and to invest global prayer power to make all things conform to God's will. Join Apostle Goodheart Ekwebe online every weekday at www.radio.rogic.org or on Facebook and Instagram at Apostle Goodheart or download the Horn of Revival Ministry app free at Google Play and Apple stores. GPPA is an altar for the global gathering of God chasers and Jesus lovers. Hello, my good friend. This is Goodhart Obioka, the host and the presenter of Revival is Here Again TV broadcast, the same that is syndicated across many networks across cities and the nation of the world, including this particular network. We have been broadcasting this for many, many months and years now, being a blessing to a huge number of people across cities and nations. 
as the name infers, it is riveting, carrying the fire of revival in all that we present out there. Lives have been changed and testimonies have been drawn to this particular broadcast. We believe it's time for this work to go to the next level. And there is something called Kingdom Partnership. And we have what is called the Kingdom Air Force Partners, a team of people across nations who have said, Man of God, we join our hearts and our hands with you. We'll place seeds in your hand and we'll pray with you to see that this work will go further beyond what you alone can do. The law of San Jacinto one, which is a thousand to fly, but two together, which is not two thousand, but ten thousand to fly. We can together do much more for the king and the kingdom than I can do alone. Why don't you join hands and force with me? Look at the screen below. you find how you can become a Kingdom Air Force partner, how you can begin to give on a custom basis. It'll be my joy, our joy, to send to you a monthly gift and also send you our newsletter as a periodic newsletter to be a blessing to you. In the meantime, I want to see you on this side. Join in hands and hearts with me as we take this work to a whole new level. Remember, Revival is here again with Good Heart of your coming. Blessings. Love you. Good. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges, career challenges, indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodheart Obi Ikweme. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rogic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodheart O Ikweme on Instagram at Apostle Goodheart and on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar, the surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We receive. All right, people, that's how far we can go on today's broadcast of Revival is Here Again. Of a truth, Revival is really here again. Whoa, what energy, what passion, what light, what zest, what vigor, what vitality. I'm sure you're pumped up, but beyond being pumped up, I'm sure the word of life has come to transform you, change you, and shift you, and take you to lift on top. Well, this is Revival is Here Again with Good Harobi Akwema, and I challenge you and encourage you to be a part of this broadcast each time the airwaves are open. I want to pray for as many people under the sound of my voice who don't know the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, heaven is a reality. Hell is a reality. Don't let anybody deceive you. Somebody once said, if you miss heaven, you will not miss hell. You will not miss heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Every man has a choice and your choices and your decisions lead to your destination. Now, Jesus Christ has come to the earth, paid the price for entire mankind, the entire human race, but we, at some point have to make the choice to receive him. Now this hour, you can invite Jesus into your heart to be your Lord and your Savior. Can you bow your heads together with wherever you are upon the face of the earth? Let's pray sincerely to our Father in heaven. Bow your heads, let's pray. Our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to you just as I am. I lift my heart and my hands unto you as my sign of surrender. Forgive me all of my sins. From today, I turn over my entire life to you as my Lord and my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare I'm blood washed and blood bought in Jesus' wondrous name. Amen. If you pray that prayer, hearty congratulations. I want to hear from you. Send us email, call us, I want to send materials to you and stand together with you in faith. And wherever you are located upon the face of the earth, I encourage you to find a good Bible believing church where you'll be established and you'll thrive and flourish like nowhere else, where the Word of God will shift you and move you to where you belong in Christ. Meanwhile, let's get together in the next rehab broadcast. Remember, revival is here again. This is Good Heart. We'll be a comment. Wishing you a wonderful day and a glorious week. Love you much. Good Heart. Signing out. We believe that you have been tremendously blessed by the ministry of Good Heart Obi Akweme. It is our conviction that this message has begun a mighty work in your life, and we pray that the grace for prompt obedience to the Word of God will rest upon you. We look forward to hear and celebrate your testimonies with great expectations.